I've heard some try to defend this by saying they didn't want to overreach like they did in during the summer. But to do nothing as what's happened yesterday is way worse. Dr. Michael Fontroy is a DC native and professor at Howard University. He says the clear distinction in the way Trump supporters were not met with force in comparison to Black Lives Matter protesters highlights what many African Americans already knew. Because everybody knew this was gonna happen. Everybody knew January 6th was the date. I think it says a lot about the preparation on Capitol Hill or the lack thereof, that they essentially just allowed these people to walk through the Capitol and defile uh, the symbol of American democracy to the rest of the world. We spoke with Trump protesters on Thursday after they witnessed a mob of people take over the Capitol. One woman who came from New York says she now sees the parallels. I support the movement of Black Lives Matter. I don't support the way things happen. And in New York, I was witness to a lot of bad things that happened. But again, I don't support what happened here with swarming the Capitol building. You know what I mean? So I think I feel the same way about both sides and certain things. But Dr. Fontroy wonders if the newfound sympathy is genuine. Is that what they're empathizing with? Or are they empathizing with the coverage of it? I see, I, I think there's a distinction. I, I don't know, you know, the person that you just referred to is sounds to be talking about the way in which the public perceives uh, their actions, not necessarily the righteousness of the issues in which Black Lives Matter is associated with. The same sentiments were echoed by neighbors who live in D.C. and saw both protest firsthand. It's not as Black Lives Matter. They got tanks rolling down Pennsylvania Avenue. After the Capitol breach, 1,100 D.C. National Guard troops were deployed and hundreds of federal law enforcement officers were sent in to assist. Compare that to June, when around 5,000 guardsmen and 1,600 active duty troops were brought to the D.C. area in advance of protests following the death of George Floyd. Like most of the country, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser is wondering why federal aid wasn't brought in sooner something she has no power to do. We must also understand why the federal law enforcement response was much stronger at the protest over the summer than during yesterday's attack on Congress. President-elect Joe Biden and former First Lady Michelle Obama and a host of other leaders around the nation have spoken out against the mayhem we all witnessed. Dr. Fontroy believes in order for us all to move forward, change will have to come from within, from those who participated in the taking of the Capitol. And ultimately, this comes down to behavioral change. And it's really early to know whether or not things that are said and done yesterday and today around this actually result in any behavioral change at the ballot box or in terms of the way people feel about public policy. Megan Rivers, WUSA 9.